So today, we're gonna to talk about Dynamic EQs. What is it, how it works, and how you can create it for free in Ableton. A Dynamic EQ is essentially a hybrid between a parametric EQ and a compressor. Unlike a static EQ, which applies the same boost or cut at all times, a Dynamic EQ only engages when certain frequencies get too loud. This makes it incredibly useful for harshness, taming resonances, and keeping your mix clean without over-processing. So let's take a look at how you set this up in Ableton. Here's an 808 track and a kick track. On the 808 track, add an EQ with a low shelf set to around 80 Hz. Add an envelope follower to the kick track and a click map on the envelope follower. Navigate back to the 808's EQ and select the gain parameter of the low shelf. Return to the envelope follower and set it to remote and adjust the range to 50% and to 0%. Now, the EQ gain is dynamically mapped to the envelope follower, meaning it only reacts when the kick triggers. Adjust the gain knob on the EQ so it sits just above or on the kick's transient. Smooth the curve with the fall knob for a more natural sounding duck. Now, the EQ will duck automatically whenever the kick hits, targeting only the conflicting frequencies. And that's what Dynamic EQ is, and how you can get it without spending a cent in Ableton. Like and follow for more tips and tricks.